Today, it is a different world. We no longer have heroes only, we have sheroes as well. One of the sheroes born on this sacred land of India is none other than Sinjoli Banerjee. Born in 1999 in Karnal in Haryana in India, to teacher parents Gagan and Mihir, Sinjoli kick-started Save Daughters, Educate Daughters campaign on 13th January 2004 by celebrating Lodi, a tradition and a festival. But this Lodi was dedicated to the birth of daughters. So it was titled Lodi Beti Ke Naam, which was celebrated in village Arnoli in Yamnanagar district. When Sanjoli was blessed with a sister, Ananya, in August 2003, despite mental pressure mounted on her mother to abort her by the people around, she wanted to tell the world that daughters should be accepted and respected, not abandoned and rejected. It was a war against female feticide. Soon, it became a state-level campaign and just at the age of seven and a half years, the government of Haryana endorsed her efforts in creating awareness against this malpractice through talks, nukunatikas, workshops and so on in villages as well as public places in cities. She directed Beti, a documentary film on female feticide. By the age of 10, she was the voice of millions of unborn daughters. As she felt the pain of the aborted daughters, her conscience and concern for them strengthened her resolve. Playing with Barbie dolls never allured her as she was backed by a purpose, a mission and a vision to see India with equal ratio of daughters and to see them empowered through education and equality. After working for more than a decade, she realized that she had a solution to the menace of female feticide. She wrote a letter to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, on 10th of January 2015, mentioning 14 solutions that could change the entire scenario. She suggested compulsory sex determination, monitoring of the pregnancies, disbursement of healthy diet to the mother and the unborn, constitution of autonomous national commission for girl child and ban on the so-called sacred blessings dudo nahao puto palo sanjoli has been daring enough to stand against the criminals and the perpetrators of crime she voiced publicly in sweetie rape case she protested against a top cop in ruchika molestation case and in nirbhaya rape case she was one of the key protesters in Karnal. Her concern for climate change persuaded to direct another film, Earth in Flames, in 2009 at the age of 10 and a half. Accompanied by her parents, volunteers, and young social activist sister Ananya, she traveled across several states of India, covering a distance of more than 5,000 kilometers to spread the message save daughters, save the mother earth. Tree plantation programs, awareness campaigns and her leadership qualities won her accolades from the then Honorable Governor of Haryana, Mr. Jagannath Pahadiya. She proudly talks about her film Beti that reached the hands of the former Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh. In academics, Sanjoli has proved that girls can do much better if liberated and empowered. She topped in Haryana, scoring 96.8% in 10 plus 2 humanities. Currently, she is studying Bachelor's in International Security Studies at Australian National University, Canberra, in Australia. Even there in Australia, she brought laurels to her nation by becoming the Secretary of International Students Department, leading a team of 14,000 international students. Lions Club International Canberra honored her with Voice of People Award 
and her university granted her a scholarship of 5000 Australian dollars. I am a second semester student at the ANU studying international security studies and I'm running with the amazing team of IST Guru um, with the most innovative and talented team members. I'm running for the post of secretary because I want to make the IST more accessible and approachable. Thank you. Today, she is a popular Indian face in Australia, known for her volunteering, her positivity, her missionary zeal, and above all, for being a wonderful human being who believes in change and possesses a strong trust in her capabilities, power to visualize change, and in the people like you who are sensitive, sensible, and responsible citizens of this world. Recently, she has adopted a village in Karnal, which she wants to be a model village with 100% literacy, cleanliness, and she's striving to make it drug-free. I She loves to write articles and poems and they have found space in national magazines and newspapers. Even NDTV and various news channels have propagated her voice from time to time. Her mission is to work in India at grassroots level and focus on mental health, lives of deprived ones, and education and equality and justice for women. Since the age of five, I've been working against uh, people with this side which is a great social evil uh, in India. So that's the purpose and meaning of my life and I aim to pursue that as my um, career aim. She aims at building the India of Tagore where minds are without fear and heads are held high. Yes, we can and we will is her inner voice. She wishes to convey that every person has untapped immense potential. What you require is self-confidence, fire, initiative, and on the top of it, willpower to justify your stay on this beautiful earth. <laughs>